Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc., the channel all about bringing you as much nerdy content as possible. Today for you, I may have one of the most clickbait titles I've ever contrived, but if you're having any kind of difficulty with PvE content, after this video, and after you acquire these dragons, you'll never have a problem again. I can guarantee it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you enjoy the content and you always want to see the next video I put out. I'm trying to do two videos a week. That's my New Year's resolution. So hopefully I can stick to it this year and, uh, and hopefully we can hit 1,000 subscribers. I know it's a small goal, but you got to start small to get somewhere, right? So that's, that's what we're doing this year. Uh, also, if you want to check out my Patreon, if you really enjoy what I do and you want to get featured in, cha in the channel and uh, have access to the Discord server, then consider going to the link in the description below and checking out the Patreon. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, I have completed the entire uh, adventure mode, so all, all difficulties here, all the way to the end. So I was stuck on level 6, for or stage 6 uh, hell mode, for about 2 months. Uh, it was just too much damage for me, and I just couldn't get over it. So, uh, what I ended up doing was substituting in the... What I started using really was the uh, Water Wonder Dragon out front, and he was just getting pelted because that's the stage where you fight the Spider Queen the first time, uh, the fire one, and then she's sending out all those bugs that just swarm your team. Well, with the Water uh, Wonder Dragon out front, he's just getting hit by all those little insects that are uh, hitting, and for you know no damage because he's in zombie state. Well, what I did to finally get over this. And the, the reason I was able to, to figure out this strategy is because it wasn't because I figured it out, but I was actually told by a couple of viewers on uh, one of the, the YouTube pages, uh, Michael Johnson, and there was also a, uh, a Korean viewer whose name is written in Korean, so I have no idea how to say it or read it, but uh, to you guys, thank you. Uh, this video is attributed to those two because they're the one that told me about it so I want to get that information uh, out as far as possible and to as many people as possible so what we do so let me clear all this stuff out of here this is just stuff I'm leveling right now so all right so uh, I don't want to go into the final stage here because I tried it uh, earlier and it lagged my computer so hard that you couldn't even really see the fight and how it was progressing um, so I'm gonna back it up a stage. We'll go to 12:6 instead, and uh, and we'll uh, clear this one with uh, using our strategy here. All right, so we'll go in here. So uh, kind of how I've got the team set up here. So I've got my healer, of course, because you have to have a healer to keep your Earth Witch Dragon alive. Your Earth Witch Dragon will just continuously buff up your uh, your Water or Dark Wonder Dragon. So then, I just have some extra DPS in here just to help make the fight go faster. But even if these two guys die, as long as these three stay alive, then we'll be fine. So, and then my Water Enix only heals two targets at once. So, just heals these two and while he's in zombie state. And, uh, and he'll do enough damage just to clear the entire level by himself. It might take a little longer without the extra DPS, but you'll see. Alright, we'll jump in there. Right, get the right leader on for that crit rate buff. And uh, I'm just going to let it auto battle its way through this. Uh, for the most part, I think the only thing I'll do is probably pop the tamer ability at the very last fight just to help make it go faster. Oh, and I'll definitely pick up my rewards here. So, as soon as the, the Wonder Dragon dies here, and see, he goes down fast because he's taking all those, those hits. So you got to make sure to put him out front. If he's sharing the spotlight with somebody out there, then he's not going to be able to go into uh, zombie state fast enough. So he's got to be right there on the front lines, uh, taking all the hits. Okay, so very very important. Just keeping uh, keeping all of our DPS alive back here, and he's just going to take all these hits. And so what the Wonder Dragon is going to start doing is it's going to keep building that timer on the zombie state, which is very 
very cool. So even if the, the Witch Dragon does end up dying, this timer is so high that you should, in theory, be able to finish the fight before the timer runs out. Uh, it could be a really hard, hard match and that not happen. Oh goodness, I hate when they do that. <laughs> Use a three mana one shot skill on a minion. Makes no sense. But look at this, all these guys are untouched. And we've already cleared out all the all the minions and we're working on the boss now. And see, so he can just start using his skill and no one else's, even if everyone else was dead. So if you're having trouble in any content, this is this is how you do it. You have your healer, you have your earth or fire witch dragon, and then a water dark or water wonder dragon. Alright? And that's all you need. I mean, literally, I could come in here with a three-man team and do this. I wouldn't even need these other two DPS, just to prove a point. But, for the sake of time, I went ahead and did it anyway, so. I mean, look at that. Looks like these guys are basically untouched back here. Partially because I've got a healer that puts shields and stuff, but besides that. I mean, that skill does nothing. Uh, so, I actually didn't build my Witch Dragon according to how the game would want you to build. The game wants you to build them as DPS, but I felt it was way more important to keep uh, them as uh, healthy and durable as possible. So I put just health and uh, defense runes on my dragon across the board, because it being alive is way more important than it being able to do damage. Because the whole reason I'm taking it is not to do damage. I'm not taking a nat 3 into uh, the final stages of the game for its DPS potential. I can guarantee it. It's the passive that makes uh, the whole thing worth it. So if it's not alive, then it's not using its passive. So uh, that's how you're gonna wanna build your witch dragons, okay? Is to make them super tanky, so that way, even when those, uh, like the AoEs and stuff, get past your, your wonder dragon out front, it can still stay alive. So and that's also why you wanna have a healer. You can't just have just these two and like farming, uh, leveling a bunch of uh, other dragons. You need at least a healer in there just to keep the witch dragon alive because they will take some hits. I mean, they're super tanky, but they will take damage. So, But if it's a great way just to beat the campaign. If that's what your issues are, then it's a good tactic just to get through the campaign. I wouldn't say it's a good farming tactic necessarily, uh, you can see on some of these, I wasn't able to get three stars, so it's not a foolproof plan, okay? Uh, and it's not always the fastest, especially if your DPS dies, then it slows down a lot, because then you're just waiting for your Wonder Dragon to use its skill to attack. But uh, it but it does work, so I, as you see, I've cleared out all this. I've got my uh, my big reward here, the, what is it, the legendary five-star dragon with the chance of a limited dragon. So, uh, if you're going to be watching the egg hatching video for January 2019, I'm going to have that bad boy in there. So, definitely worth uh, watching that one. And uh, speaking of which, I'll even go show you everything we've got built up for that video, which will be uh, later this week. Okay? So, finally, uh, finally at that point, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Buy this stuff. I'm running low. All right, so summons, hatch. So right now we've got two legendary eggs. Tomorrow I get my third for my 28th login reward. Also, we're doing the alphabet event right now, and I have enough to buy a legendary dragon egg from that. So that will put, put us up to four legendary uh, eggs this month for January 2019, and the mythical egg as well as what is this oh goodness i've lost count already so four five six seven eternal eggs oof all these ancients i got two of the xmas eggs i've been saving those i really want to open them but i'm holding on to them for the for our hatching video all these fantasies and then of course just all these these holy and dark eggs from an event we had a while back but then look at this so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's 90 mysterious eggs 91 all right 
Uh, not doing any slimes this month just because we have so many mysterious eggs. I really don't feel like I need to fill out uh, these at all. So the, the hatching video is going to be awesome this week. All right. I hope y'all are excited for that as I am. Um, but yeah, so going back to our tactic here, uh, I hope you, you think it's as cool as I do. Uh, you can use this in your dungeons, everywhere. Um, I tried it in Colosseum, but I didn't really get the desired effect. The problem I run into is uh, here lately I've been running into so much buff removal that the zombie state just doesn't work anymore. Okay, Once you get so high in Colosseum, the zombie state starts to flicker out, so I've had to go a different route. Uh, using uh, a little more traditional uh, healer tank and regular tank with my uh, my DPS back behind them. So uh, just working on Coliseum all the time, trying to come up with different strategies. Going back to my PvP video, if you haven't seen that, uh, I talk about different ways to get through PvP, and I'm just trying working my way through those different ways that I mentioned, uh, trying to find out what's going to get me the farthest and the best results. Uh, Ancient Tower, you can use this method in Ancient Tower pretty easily. Uh, a lot of PvE content doesn't have buff removal, so you can literally use this strategy to clear out your Ancient Tower. So uh, it reset today, and I'm working on doing the strategy and clearing out all the floors right now. Um, so I haven't fully tested it all the way to the final floor yet because I just just got it. So uh, the the Witch Dragon up to max level five stars with good runes so hopefully hopefully this will be my final my first time actually clearing the ancient tower i always get stuck on like the last two or three levels i tried it last night ancient runes uh, didn't work with the strategy just because he has so much damage output and so much aoe that he just blasts through the wonder dragon and then clears the back row out before he ever even needs to work on the wonder dragon so uh, ancient Ancient Dungeon, that's just, that's a whole nother beast. Alright, I'll get a video out eventually whenever I figure out a good solid strategy for beating it consistently and not just blind luck. Overall, it just seems like you just really need raw damage and lots of six star dragons uh, to clear it, so. But, I really hope you liked this video. I thought it was a super cool strategy and I hope it really helped you guys out. Uh, please like the video if you did enjoy it, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Dragon Village M content. I'm always trying to put out newer and better content every day, so or at least every week, and, uh, and your support is always appreciated, especially if you want to go to my Patreon and support me through there. Uh, get access to that Discord server, we can talk about Dragon Village M and discuss strategy and all that sort of fun stuff, alright? So, with that... Another video done. We'll see you next time.